OK, so as it gets clearer um, with the more 3D views that I have in my model, I can identify issues. And I identified this one with the, the stairs not connecting. For, so looking, looking in the section, um, what, I, what I notice is that that's actually supposed to be not... Uh, when I copied it up, I must have forgotten that there was a two foot offset, so actually I want to set that down. It's a bit better. Um, and it's awfully hard to tell, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that through the middle of the stair, then I'm going to click on this, and I can see that actually it does match up correctly now. So it goes from the beginning riser and finishing on the end riser to this location on the stair. So actually now, if I went back to my uh, to stair view, that would be better. Uh, so one other thing I notice I'm missing, because this is kind of like just cleaning up the the project at the end, is that this mezzanine level is going to be murder for the kids because oh, and here's here's that typical mistake that I mentioned at the very beginning. Um, I'm not seeing what I expected to see because I accidentally used ceiling plan mezzanine and I should have clicked on that so I could see my stair. And so what I wanted to show was that I could put in something like railings um, around here. And uh, the other thing, so let me let me do that quickly. I go back to home. I won't do the whole thing just to give you enough to see how this works. Is uh, railings? I always think how I would do this. Oh, well, for one thing, I don't want my stair at the very end of the. Okay, let's cancel out of that. So what I want to do this with this here is I want to edit the boundary <coughs> and I want to uh, edit that value. I don't have nearly enough space there, so let's move that to say five feet back and OK. And uh, this updated the way that I had hoped that it would, but now railings, I really don't want anybody falling down here. So what would I do? I'd do a railing around here and maybe here and back. It's going to be really nasty. I really don't want that doing. So what I want is uh, actually something more like this, where I say, um, let's uh, split with a gap. So what I'm doing is saying there to there. No, that's not right. Let's just try split. You see how I've got a here. So now that I've got that what I really want to do is just trim this up so that I get more like this, and because I can delete that, I've now got that situation for my my floor, and then uh, really I just have to be concerned about the a railing here and maybe here around the end. So what I can do is I can go back to Home tab railing. I'm going to show you another option which is in choosing the <coughs> the line here for my railing. I can also go in here and put in a value to offset this sketch line. It will define my railing by 6 inches and I can also use uh, sorry, pick lines here. So if I do it like this, if I go like from there, 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 there. Um, and I can't, I need to have a one closed 
line. So actually I'm going to have to do this in two steps. Oh, let me do redo. So when I get to that point, what I'm going to do is, and I'm not going to constrain this, I'm just going to draw it so you can see it, and I can say OK, and I've got a railing in there. And then when I get to this point, I go home, railing, um, pick lines, offset 6 inches, and it's going to go there, 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 and then finish. Um, let's place a camera up here just so I can see what it looks like. So I'm going to go to the view camera like this. It's a crummy looking railing so what I'm going to do is pick the railing and change the style from oops, do I only have So I'll leave that as it is. There should be like a pipe and a guardrail railing as well usually. So if I um, go back to my 3D view, to the stair I should say, I've now got some of what I needed up there. And I'm going to render that. So what am I missing? I haven't done, um, you know, we're almost done. Maybe a quick walkthrough. Oh, ceilings. Ceilings and lights. That's what I said I was going to do. So I'll put in a false ceiling with, a, with some lighting, interior lighting. And uh, there's my option. Notice that it retained the brightness settings that I had from the time that I changed it down here. Oh, so if, if when it comes to ceilings, um, I'm probably going to do something like this, where. I, I purposely went to the ceiling plan view and what I'm going to do is go back to home and ceiling and by now you should be used to this technique is that um, under the home and ceiling I've got this option of uh, Drawing a ceiling. That was a little confusing. Somehow I lost this. I'm going to I'm going to use the sketch ceiling just to show you that I can draw any kind of shape that I want. So I'm going to draw this as uh, let's assume that there's an area in the classroom here that I want to be somehow uh, differentiated from other other areas, right? This is not attractive, but I'm going to just do this quickly so you can see it. So I've got my closed shape for my ceiling. You know what? I think I really want to change the uh, change that. In fact, let's leave no, let's leave it about there. I'll push this back a bit. I'm just eyeballing it. And then I'm finished with the ceiling, so I can do that, and it puts in those different types of ceiling, so I can pick this and I can change it to uh, two by two ceiling tiles, or no ceiling tiles, just gypsum board and whatever, or two by four. I'll go back to the two by two, and then while I'm there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some additional stuff. So if I go back home, oh, you know what? I'll do a separate movie on that after I've done the lighting on, on components just to show some of the catch-all stuff. Uh, so back under, this is actually an example of one of them, component load family is that I can go out and find lighting fixtures. So under the lighting fixtures I'm going to pick like a, a down light, a spotlight, there's lots of different lights. I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to place some on the uh, on the uh, 
on the ceiling grid there. And um, I'm just looking at the, this. This is where my 3D views come in useful, right? What have I actually got here? I've got this set where it is 8 feet above street level, but my, that was 2 feet up, so actually I've only got 6 feet there, so it's looking a bit nasty. So what I'm going to do is assume I need to move it up a bit. Let's say I want to be precise and say it's 10 feet up there. Um, so you see how the multiple views really help me. If I go back to my uh, two stair option now, and that's uh, been rendered my view, and um, let's kill this. Why am I seeing? It must be in the middle of something. Nope. I'm going to leave this in because I think it's important that you <laughs> everybody knows that everybody else screws up. So, uh, two stair. Why is that rendered? I don't quite get that. If I'm going to render it again, usually it doesn't it doesn't retain a rendering in a in a view unless maybe at the bottom of this. I think what it is is my my interface is kind of crunched here at the bottom of it. There's something that says um, model view, where you return from the rendering view to the model view. And I don't think I changed it back because I couldn't see it. It's down here somewhere. I will try to drag it up. But the point here is you see the ceiling coming in. Oh, and let me show you. You can cancel a rendering. Right, because actually what I want here is exterior sun and the artificial sun. And then I'm going to say render it. Because now I want to see if there's a pool of light down here where the I put in the interior lights. If it's there, it's not very clear. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Here, oh, my my mistake. Okay. Well, it's good that I do these things. Here, I mean, inside of the building. I'm not in the exterior of the building, so I should be saying interior, sun and artificial. That's what I want. If I was on the outside of the building, looking in, I would say exterior. But if I'm in the inside, I say interior, sun, and artificial light. That's what I wanted to see. And it's actually, the settings are a little different, so what I'll do is adjust the exposure. And then I'll do one more quickly, which is just interior lights only. Because that is bright. Nearly done. Okay, it's not very clear, is it? That there's, that's what I was trying to get to, see what it says, show the model. That's why I couldn't get away from the the rendered view that was there. It's not going to let me do it. But, um, okay, I'm going to adjust the exposure and make this a little darker. I'm going to hit apply rather than OK because that keeps this dialog box up. And it really doesn't, doesn't help too much, does it? I wanted to see if there was a pool of light here, and I'm not seeing it. So, what else could it be? Let's try it with artificial only. I'm in the interior, and I want artificial only. And I, all I expect to see is a pool of light down here. I guess it was just too bright, given the time of day and the amount of light that was in the room, to be able to see the artificial light. So. There's the interior. I really wish I could click on the show model to... I wonder if I use my tab key. Yeah, and then enter. That'll do the same thing.